about health traditionally, it's this idea of the absence of disease. But that is clearly not enough, that it has to be much more a sense of complete physical, emotional, social, and spiritual well-being. We have to look at our mental well-being. We have to have more people in the me mental health profession that are willing to come out and say, I'll help you deal with that. And we have to succumb to that and say we need that help. It's not just about being physically fit. You're a whole human being. And I really think that it's us non-medical folks, you know, in other words, the, the public and public health, who can really lead the charge in, in shaping the lives of not just ourselves, but also the generations that come after us. The more school gardens we have, the more community gardens we have, getting kids to grow their food, getting people to grow food in their backyards, on their stoop, <laughs> on their stairs. Um, you know, you grow a little tomato plant, you get hundreds of, of cherry tomatoes for a summer. That really changes what a kid eats. Like, we can like start eating more vegetables in New Haven. Don't put a lot of sugar on my food because then it'll give you diabetes. A healthier New Haven would have many people riding their bikes. It would have families, both with children and elderly, walking through the neighborhoods. I would love to see a city that recognizes the effects of trauma and violence and when, they, when those things happen that they would, there would be opportunities for um, people to step right in. I would definitely like to see more smiles in the kids' faces when I walk down the street. For me, it's always been we've got to develop the neighborhood based on the kids. Other people are working on economic development, other people are working on community building. For me, it's about the kids, because the kids are the future. They're the ones that are going to make the neighborhood strong. Saying it takes a village to train a child or to grow up a child, I think that it can kind of be flipped on its head almost. Like it takes a child to change the outcome of their community or, you know, one child, multiple children, all of us really have a say and have a responsibility to our community. So why wouldn't we want to make it the best it possibly can be? My vision for a healthier New Haven starts with the green spaces and ensuring people feel like they are safe enough to come and enjoy the outdoors, where families and communities can feel like they are better able to handle the stresses of life because the resources are available to them. That there's a sense of community where we start to be more intimate and build relationships around health. Mm -hmm.